works. Hello, my name is Edward Jones. I'm a buddy Adam is uh, recording this video. And I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get this video set up. I know I said, you know, since my last Manchester video, I'm going to have a video of disassembly, but so many things have gone on that uh, I was able to get a better camera during that time. And I'm going to do a, so just a quick field trip with this shotgun. Uh, model's 1897 Winchester takedown model. Uh, it's going to be, the takedown for this, the disassembly for it, is going to be similar to the one that's a solid frame model. Just with the solid frame, you're gonna have to take just take uh, completely take off the magazine tube. There should be a there'll be a screw on the bottom. Um, there should be a screw on the bottom that you take out, which will allow you, and also a screw on the receiver where the magazine tube be, mates with the receiver that you can take out and then you can unscrew the magazine tube. But with this one, we just completely take it take it apart in half, and then we'll have the entire um, receiver to ourselves to work on. Um, the tools you're gonna need uh, if you're gonna do a full field strip. Um, or four t a full strip of the entire gun. First, you're gonna need. Uh, I don't have a good hammer. This is the only hammer I have at the at the moment. But um, I plan on the future just getting um, a brass and soft mallet. Um, you're gonna need punches. Uh, it's, it's, you know, I don't think you need. You may not need brass punches, but it's important that you get if you have a good set of punches of various sizes. You're gonna be knocking out different pins in the carrier and in the bolt, as well as is a is a, a pin that holds trigger housing in the receiver. You're going to need, and this is, I'm going to stress this, I stress this most importantly, you're going to need a good set of uh, gunsmithing screwdrivers. One that are, one that are uh, squared at the bottom, and they fit directly into the screw. Don't use tapered screw, don't use tapered screwdrivers. Um, you'll strip your screw head, especially on an old gun like this, you'll, you'll live to regret that you use those kind of screwdrivers. And last but not least, it's always good to have a good rag. Um, if your gun's dirty, and you're, you just start taking it apart, you know, or you soaked it for a while, yeah, sometimes your hands get oily, and so you just want a good rag to wipe your hands off. Sometimes they wipe some crud off, wipe some crud off the parts. So when we get started, first thing you always want to do, uh, safety rules. Make sure your gun is empty. This gun is unloaded, and there's nothing in the nothing in the magazine tube. First thing you do is have your hammer all the way up. Then you're gonna take it down like you were, you know, push put it in storage. Break it apart in half. We don't need to take this part. This part doesn't need to be taken apart right now. Um, I can do that in a later video. I'll set it to the side. Um, so space, I have a spacer inside there just to uh, make up for the tolerance that's been used up on the barrel. Uh, what you want to what you're going to want to do is you're going to cock this hammer all the way. It's all the way cocked. You're going to get a screwdriver. You can zoom in on this part now. You're going to get a screwdriver that will act, that will Allow you to, to take take out the screw that's beside the hammer. There's a screw right here on the back um, by the hammer on the carrier, so you get another size. Make sure it's the right size, and you back it out. I cleaned this gun uh, last week, so everything is going to come apart a lot, a lot faster than if it was dirty. And you just set your parts to the side. I said right here. Another screw you're going to have to take out is this screw right beside your slide release. And this screw, what this, what this screw does is when the carrier drops down, the guide plate stays up, so it so it guard so it guides your shells center onto the carrier when you're um, pumping when you're cycling the action. So you're going to back that screw out. It comes out that to the side. Um, next. Uh, this may be a little bit tricky. What you want to do is, you're going to take your screwdriver and you're going to put it right now. The, there's going to be a space, going to be a gap between the between the bolt and the carrier. What you're going to do is you're going to push down, and right now it's, it'll come. The locking block will unlock. And then you slide your bolt back just slightly. And because you got that le that first screw out, the carrier pin you can push out. So. Pull it out. Now you can take your finger and go inside from the magazine tube and and push down. And what it allows you to do is you move the bolt back forward with your thumb, and the carrier assembly comes completely out. Uh, what's included in the carrier assembly? You have your you have your guide plate. It's your hammer. Is your 
Seer and Seer Spring, the Action Lock, uh, Action Lock Spring, you know, some of the screws that hold it together. You have your uh, main spring tension screw, which you can adjust uh, according to what tension you want your screw to be at, uh, I mean, what, what tension you want your spring to be at. And then you have your guide plate. And this swings up and this swings up and down as you're cycling the action. I'm gonna put that to the side right here with the screws. Next, let's put this pin over here. Also, if you don't want your table dirtied up, like I'm doing with this table, I cleaned it previously. I cleaned it previously before I got anything set up. Just get a you know, old newspaper and just put set your parts on. I'm not worried about that at the moment. Next thing you want to do is may change threads. Get uh, this wire screw. Now, your bolt is held. Now, if you try to move your bolt back, you see that it won't come out the back. That's because this bolt is held on by, I don't know if you can see it, hold back up, but there's a hook on the inside of your, there's a hook attached to the bolt of the, shot, um, of the shotgun. That's the action, that's a slide action hook. And what happens is when, you, when you're cycling the action, this hooks into the action hook. And that allows you to um, operate the action. But in order to get this attached to the bolt, so in order to get this bolt out, you have to get rid of this action hook. So in order to get that out, it's a screw right here, right underneath the right-hand extractor. Get a screwdriver, back it out. Yeah, good. You see it real well? Yeah, we got it good. All right, and you're gonna, what you're gonna do is. So bring the bolt back halfway. So drop the drop your um, turn your receiver this way. It should fall out or it should unhook. You can zoom in right here. You just pop it out. That's your action hook, and that attaches directly to the bolt. When you're reassembling, when you you put it back together, you uh, there's a part that's machined. There's a machine part that's that stands out. You're gonna have, that's gonna hook up, hook back up to the bolt. Put that with the rest of the parts. And now your bolt slides completely out. And from there, you can uh, look in your gun, look inside the receiver, uh, see, look for, look out for any dirt that may accumulate over time, whether it be in storage or you know just spend some time shooting. Usually, when you sh if you shot it a lot. You get a lot of unburnt powder on this part of your carrier. Um, sometimes you get some on the lower part of the carrier where the locking block hooks up to. Uh, usually the this machine out this machine cut where the action slide runs through tends to stay clean, tends to stay rel um, relatively clean. Depends on how much you know what conditions you kept in. It's always good to keep that keep that section uh grease because the slide because the slide action is gonna be running through that channel um, always when you're cycling the action. Um, you know there are screws to check your there are screws to take out uh, you have an older model to take out your uh, your shell stops and your, your shell and uh, shell interrupter. Um, another thing um, I'm not gonna do in this video but your trigger guard can come out there's a pin that you gotta drive out first, but it will probably take off the buttstock. But I'm gonna do it in the, I'm gonna do a further disassembly of all these parts in the um, in separate videos. Now reassembly, um, reassemble it, get your bolt back, put it in through the back. Oh, one more thing: if you have a solid, you have a solid solid frame uh, shotgun of this of this model number, it may be helpful for you to um, know how to take the bolt out because. Your, um, you can't take your you can't take your barrel off because it's threaded into the into the receiver. So the only way you can actually clean your shotgun is either going in muzzle first, or you take your bolt out and you can run your brush through through the front and out and muzzle in out. And that way you can get you will be able to clean you may scrub may scrub your action up a bit as well as clean your barrel. So we put this together. You take your bolt, slide it back in. This uh, action hook, you know, see so you can zoom in on this right here, in this section. You take your action hook, and there's a machine part out, there's a machine cut out on the bolt 
It allows you to slide the action hook down. It allows you to slide the action hook down back into into where it came from onto the bolt. You take your take this screw. You put it back in. This, 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 all this becomes is very a lot easier as you, you know get more experience with the gun and learn to keep it cleaned and not really um, well lubricated. Next, uh, you take your carrier, um, hammer the hammer still in the fully cocked position. What you can do is you push, hold your hold the bolt forward with your thumb, and then you're gonna see, see if you can slide it back in. It's a bit tr sometimes a bit tricky. Well, have your bolt. Well, actually, have your bolt halfway. See, there's one of the things that may happen if your sear is caught, the hammer will fall. So you just just cock it back all the way. Let me see if I can get this thing back in. There we go. Uh, and it should just snap right back into place. Uh, with your hammer still in the fully cocked position, you're going to take your pin, when the hell to carry your pin, you put it back in. If you notice, there's a machine, there's, it's a machine cuts that allows for a screw to lock into. That screw, the first screw that I took out is what actually holds that pin in place. So you're going to slide that back in, machine cut out slide first on the right hand side. You're going to take your screw. Change screw heads out again. See the right size. That's the right size. You can get it started with just uh, like that. Tighten it back up. You know, try not to force it too much. You don't want to um, don't want to strip the screw heads. It's even possible with these kind of screwdrivers. That's why you're making sure you have the right size. Then you take the Take the the guide plate screw, put it back in. It's the right size. And you let your hold the ha hold the hammer down with your thumb. You pull the trigger, hold it down, and ease it forward. Nothing should it shouldn't come apart. And you're recently a gun, two halves. Function test to make sure it's uh, operating properly. Uh, make sure you see, make sure the hammer falls. Then uh, slide one more time. Then check your slide release, which is this button right here. It allows you to suck the action by holding it down without having about with the hammer with the hammer stick remaining in the co uh, fully cocked position. So what you do is you down. You um, hold it down, then you're able to cycle the action. Another thing, if you didn't know anything about, if you know about this gun, Browning designed it with, uh, with an inertia lock, which means as the hammer's in a fully cocked position, if you push slightly forward, because when you fire the gun, the recoil is going to move the gun back while you're still holding it to the slide, you're going to hear a click like this. When you hear that click, it allows you to cycle the action again. Now, if you just fire at the gun and you can't pump it, Try you can pull back as much as you want. The gun won't pump back until you unle um, unlock the action using the inertia lock, and then you can cycle the action again. That's it. Uh, like I said, um, if you want to do further disassembly, you always have a good hammer, um, the correct screwdrivers, good rag, um, the right punches. Um, if you have any further trouble, it's always good to have uh, an instruction manual. Um, there's a lot, a lot of people, a lot of companies online that, that print manuals out to take part this this style of gun. Well, anyway, thank you for watching my video. I'm Edward Jones, and you have a blessed day.